in this video we are going to learn how to use OpenCV and Android Studio in order to detect the edges from the direct feed from the back camera of the Android or the front camera of the Android. So the prerequisite for this video is that is that he should have uh, been continuing to this series and he should have watched at least part 3 of this series. To go you have watched until the part 3 you are good to follow this video. This will be very quick so I'll just not waste more time. So first of all we need to uh, create a new mat over here and we will come to our on camera frame. So when the camera frame is uh, captured we are going to use this input frame in order to capture the grey frame out of it. And instead of returning this, I am going to return this grey. Now we need to apply the edge detection to this grey frame and that's all we need to do. So what I'm going to use, so I'll say image processor dot canny and now in this first of all is the source then is the destination. Now you need to provide two threshold values. The optimal values 80 and 100 but you can try changing these values. The lower these values the more edges you are going to detect. Uh, the higher these values the more strong uh, and confident edges you will going to get. So 80 and 100 is about the approximate value. Now if I just run my app like this and you should have the edge detection in front of you. So here you can see that it is running perfectly fine and you have the edges as grey. Now one last effect I would like you to explain for this video. It is not necessary you have already detected the edges. So one last step you can add to this app is using this core functionality. Now inside this core there are basically the mathematical functions. So you can just apply bitwise not and the source and destination will going to be gray and gray and let's run this once again and see the result. And now you have this uh, white sketch effect in front of you. Uh, so I'll just end this video right over here and if you have any queries regarding this you can feel free to ask them in the comment section and until then goodbye and keep coding.